horses now coming on the track for the running of race number one. It is over a distance of five and a half furlongs here at the Rocky Mountain Turf Club. The number one horse, Abba Dietz, owned by the Jug Handle Ranch. Darcy W. Smith is the trainer. Ryan Nelson is in the saddle. Number two is Northern Gold, owned by Joe Frizzell, Carl Perry, and Shelley Allstad. Carl Perry is the trainer, Blanford Stewart, the jockey. Number three, Violet City, owned by Scott Sturr. Travis Robson does the training. Jose Orocha is in the irons. And number four, Flashing Joker, owned by Derek G. Fox, Terry Lynn Fox, Tony Fox, Veronica Oka Wells, and Jermaine K. Wells. Travis Robson, the trainer, doing the riding, Juan Apango. Race number one over a distance of about five and a half furlongs. Post time will be approximately eight minutes. Post time, approximately eight minutes. And we urge you to place your bets early and avoid being shut off at the paramutual windows. Thank you. Approximately five minutes to post time. Approximately five minutes to post time for race number one.
three on the way. And number four, last to load. There at the post. They're off, race number one over distance, about five and a half furlongs. Coming down the long stretch towards the Grand Sand, up through the middle, looks like Northern Gold has a bit of an early lead, but now Violet City challenging. Northern Gold on the inside, Violet City on the outside as they come in front of the Grand Stand. Violet City is the leader by a nose. Northern Gold is in second spot. Third, we've got Flashing Joker and trailing is Hubbard Eats. As they hit that turn, it's Northern Gold the leader on the inside. On the outside, Violet City, and they're battling. Violet City takes the lead as they go out onto the back stretch. Violet City and Northern Gold, one, two, and third, Flashing Joker, and fourth is Hubbard Eats. It's Violet City down that back stretch by a full length over Northern Gold. In third spot, Flashing Joker. Into the turn, Violet City now opens up the lead. Violet City is making a run. As it comes out of the turn and the race for the wire, Violet City, the big leader, Northern Gold in second spot, flashing Joker third trailing is Abadiz. As they come to the wire, it's going to be Violet City, flashing Joker, Northern Gold, and Abadiz. Results of race number one are unofficial. Please hang on to your paramutual tickets until they have been declared official. Thank you. The official running time for race number one, 108.08. Official running time, Results of race number one have now been declared official. The winner, number three, Violet City. Second of the wire, the number four horse, Flashing Joker. Third was number two, Northern Gold. And fourth at the wire, the number one horse, Abad Eats. It's official. The winner, number three, Violet City. In our winner's circle, the official winner of race number one, the number three horse, Violet City, owned by Scott Sturr, Travis Robson, the trainer, Jose Orocha in the saddle. The official winner, race number one, the number three horse, Violet City.
And here are the prices the horses paid. The winner, number three, Violet City, paid 410 to win, 220 to place, 210 to show. Number four, Flashing Joker, paid 220 to place, 210 to show. Northern Gold paid 290. The Exactor paid 450. And the Tri paid 1050. Again, quickly, Violet City paid 410, 220, 210. Flashing Joker paid 220, 210. Northern Gold paid 290. The Exactor paying $4.50. And the tribe paid ten dollars and fifty cents. Thank you. The horses are now on the track for the running of our second race over a distance of about five and a half furlongs. The number one horse, Nippowin, owned and trained by Bill C. Schmidt. Blanford Stewart is doing the riding. Number two, Stay Out of My Way, Max Gibb, the owner. Lyle W. Magnuson is the trainer. And Lorena Bougeau in the saddle. Number three, Nightfall, owned by Tamara Baker. Lori Ferguson, the trainer, Garfield Gordon, the jockey. 
Number four, hasta la vista, honey. Colton Mead, Brady Schultz, and Jesse Clute. The owners, Colton Mead, the trainer. Trevor Simpson is the jockey. Number five is Arizona Lindy, owned by Lloyd Buffalo. Jocelyn L. Giesbrecht is the trainer. Orlando Foster is in the irons. Race number two, over a distance of about five and a half furlongs. Post time will be approximately seven minutes. Post time, approximately seven minutes. Three moving into the gate, last to load number four. There at the post. They're off. Race number two over distance, about five and a half furlongs. As they come down the long chute towards the grandstand, stay out of my way seems to have an early lead. As they come down to the grandstand, now on the inside, nip a win, but moving hard in there is Arizona Linde. As they come in front of the grandstand, nip a win is the leader. Stay out of my way, second spot. In third spot on the rail, Arizona Lindy. Into the turn, nip a win. Out in front, moving up in the second spot on the inside, Arizona Lindy. Third in the outside, stay out of my way. Then we have Nightfall and Hasta la Vistani. On to the backstretch. Arizona Lindy is now out in front. Nipple win is in second spot. Third, we've got Stay Out of My Way. Fourth is Nightfall, and it's Hasta la Vista Honey. As they approach that turn, Arizona Lindy is now out in front by three and a half over Stay Out of My Way. On the rail in third spot is Nipple win. Moving hard in fourth spot on the outside, Hasta la Vista Honey, and we have Nightfall. Out of the turn, the race for the finish line. Arizona Lindy is in front. It's Arizona Lindy, stay out of my way, nightfall, hasta la vista, honey. Results unofficial. Please hang on to the paramutual tickets until they have been declared official. Thank you. The official running time for our second race, 107.75. The official running time, 107.75.
Moving into the winner's circle, the unofficial winner of race number two, the number five horse, Arizona Lindy, owned by Lloyd Buffalo. Jocelyn Giesbrick, the trainer, Orlando Foster doing the riding. The unofficial winner, race number two, the number five horse, Arizona Lindy. Results of our second race have now been declared official. The winner, number five, Arizona Linde. Number two, Stay Out of My Way, finished second. Finishing third, the number three horse, Nightfall. And fourth at the finish line, the number four horse, Hasta La Vista, honey. It's official, the winner, number five, Arizona Linde, followed by Stay Out of My Way, Nightfall, and Hasta La Vista, honey. And here are the prices the horses paid. In our second race, Arizona Lindy, the number five horse. The winner paid $9.50 to win, $3.60 to place, $2.60 to show. Number two, Stay Out of My Way, paid $2.80 to place, $2.10 to show. Nightfall paying $2.40 to show. The Exactor paid $22.60. The Tri paid $53.40. Again, the prices of race number two. Number five, Arizona Lindy, paying 950, 360, 260. Number two, Stay Out of My Way, paid 280, 210. Nightfall paid 240. The Exactor, $22.60. The Try, $53.40. Thank you.
the horses are now on the track for the running of race number three over a distance of about five and a half furlongs. Number one is Fireflower, owned by Jasmine Menneke. Jocelyn Giesbrick is the trainer, Orlando Foster the jockey. Number two, Abra Jabra, owned by Sean Birdrattler. Chanel Birdrattler, the trainer, Juan Apango, is in the saddle. Number three, Critical Condition, owned by Sylvia Speaks. Dennis Speaks, the trainer, Blandford Stewart, is in the saddle. Number four, Landry Kyle, owned by Bruce Fenton. Chandra Clark is the trainer, Andre Powell doing the riding. And number five, Shell Phone, is owned by Godfrey Weaselhead. Godfrey does the training and Garfield Gordon is in the irons. Race number three over a distance of about five and a half furlongs. Post time will be approximately seven minutes. Post time approximately seven minutes. One, two, and three in the gate, four on the way. And five will be last to load. Now five horse acting up a bit behind the gate. The jockey is off the five horses. They try to get it into the stall. late steward scratch the five horse has been scratched they're at the post money's wagered on the five horse will be refunded after the race They're off, race number three over a distance of five and a half furlongs. Coming down the long chute towards the grandstand up through the middle, critical condition on the inside, it's Fireflower. As they come to the grandstand, Fireflower is the leader. Critical condition is in second spot. Third, we have Abra Jabra, and fourth is Landry Kyle. Into the turn, Fireflower is the leader. Second on the outside is critical condition. Third on the rail, Abra Jabra, and fourth is Landry Kyle. It's still Fireflower through the turn, the leader. I have full length ahead of Abra Jabra, and critical condition trailing is Landry Kyle. Fireflower, the leader, down the backstretch by two lengths now. On the rail in second spot, Abra Jabra, third in the outside, critical condition, trailing Landry Kyle. Fireflower into the turn, still out in front by two. Second spot is critical condition. Third is Abra Jabra, fourth we have Landry Kyle. 
Out of the turn now and the race for the finish line, Fireflower is being challenged on the outside by Critical Condition. Fireflower in Critical Condition. At the wire, it's Fireflower. Critical Condition, Abra Jabra and Landry Kyle. Results unofficial. Please hang on to your paramutual tickets until results have been declared official. Thank you. The official running time, 107.16. The official running time, race number three, 107.16. Junior jockeys and jockettes, you've still got time to get in on stick horse racing. Moving into the winner's circle, number one, Fireflower, owned by Jasmine Menneke, Jocelyn Giesbrick, the trainer, and back-to-back -back winners for jockey Orlando Foster. And it's now been declared official, the winner, number one, Fireflower. Finishing second, the number three horse, Critical Condition. Third at the wire, number two, Abra Jabra. And finishing fourth, number four, Landry Kyle. And here are the prices the horse was paid. The winner, number one, Fireflower, paid six fifty to win, three thirty to place, two ten to show. Number three, Critical Condition, paid three forty to place, two ten to show, and Abra Jabra paid two ten to show. The Exactor paid fifteen sixty. The Tri paid sixteen dollars and seventy cents. Again, Fireflower paying six fifty, three thirty, two ten. Critical condition paid 340 210. 
Abra Jabra paid 210. The Exacta paid 1560, and the Tri paid $16.70. In our upcoming fourth race, the number five horse, Janati Kimmy, has been scratched. A reminder: in our upcoming fourth race, the number five horse, Janati Kimmy, has been scratched. Thank you. Horses for stick horse racing are lining up. Time to pick your favorite. On your mark, get set, go. And up on the outside now, making a charge at the finish line. The blue horse. Yay. Whoops. Horse down. Looks like everything's okay. And a couple of late starters on the way still. Heat number two. Thank you, Rob Dom. The horses are out of the paddock area and out of the track for the running of race number four. It's over a distance of about six furlongs. The number one horse, Ready to Orbit, owned by Ed Ackerstrom, Robert William, the trainer, Blanford Stewart, the jockey. Number two, Countess Cat, owned by Brady Schultz, Colton Mead, and Brad Mead. Colton Mead is the trainer. Orlando Foster is in the irons. Number three, Roses for Suzette. Clinton G. Dennis, the owner-trainer. Lorena Bouchot is in the saddle. And number four, Rebate, owned by Connie and Danny Oprahulser. Danny is the trainer. Freddie Fuentes is the jockey. Race number four over a distance of about six furlongs. Post time will be approximately five minutes. Post time approximately five minutes. The horses are now loading. One and two are in position. Three on the way. And here comes the fourth horse. 
They're at the post and they're off. Race number four over distance, about six furlongs. Coming down the long stretch towards the grandstand. On the inside, ready to orbit. But Countess Cat has a bit of an early lead. Countess Cat and ready to orbit along with Roses for Suzette and Rebate. As they come in front of the grandstand up through the middle, we've got Countess Cat, the leader. Second on the outside is Roses for Suzette. And then we've got Ready to Orbit on the rail. Trailing is Rebate. Countess Cat, the leader, into the turn. And stretching the lead out just a little bit over Roses for Suzette. Countess Cat, as they come out of the turn onto the back stretch, leading Roses for Suzette by three lengths. In third spot, Ready to Orbit. Fourth is Rebate. It's Countess Cat, still the leader, out in front by four now. Over Roses for Suzette. Ready to Orbit is third, but being challenged by Rebate. Into the turn, Countess Cat, still the leader. Having an easy go of it. Roses for Suzette is second. In third spot on the outside now is Rebate. Fourth is Ready to Orbit. The race for the finish line now. Countess Cat is out in front. Countess Cat is first. Roses for Suzette second. It's Countess Cat. Roses for Suzette. Rebate and Ready to Orbit. Results are unofficial. Please hang on to your paramutual tickets until they've been declared official. Thank you. The official running time for race number four, 110.45. The official running time, 110.45. And the unofficial order of finish, the winner, number two, count is Cat. Roses for Suzette, the number three horse finishing second. Rebate, the number four horse was third and fourth at the wire. The number one horse ready to orbit. Unofficial. Moving into the winner's circle, the unofficial winner of race number four, the number two horse, Countess Cat, owned by Brady Schultz, Colton Mead, and Brad Mead. Colton Mead is the trainer, and riding his third winner in a row, jockey Orlando Foster. Unofficial winner, number two, Countess Cat.
Results have been declared official. The winner, number two, Countess Cat. Number three, Roses for Suzette, was second. Finishing third was number four, Rebate, and fourth of the wire, the number one horse, Ready to Orbit. And here are the prices the horses paid. The winner, number two, Countess Cat, paid five dollars and thirty cents, two seventy to place, two ten to show. Roses for Suzette paid three twenty to place, two forty to show. Rebate paid two ten. The exactor paid fifteen eighty. The try paid forty one sixty. Again, Countess Cat paying five thirty two seventy two ten. Roses for Suzette paid three twenty two forty. Rebate paid two ten. The exactor paid fifteen eighty. The try paid forty one sixty.
horses are making their way out of the paddock area for the running of our fifth race. It is over a distance of seven furlongs. The number one horse, Cat's Touch, owned by Jason Glass. Sean Caffrobe is the trainer, and Andre Powell is the rider. Number three is Bourbon Bandit, owned by Charlie Weaselhead, Darcy C. Weaselhead, Tony Fox, Derek G. Fox, and Terry Lynn Fox. Travis Robson's the trainer. Jose Orocha is in the irons. Number four is Sims, owned by Krista A. Shear and Robert Dagnon. Krista Shear is the trainer. Freddie Fuente is the jockey. And number five is Reddish, owned by Charnet J. S. Mann. Goslin Giesbrecht, the trainer. Orlando Foster is doing the riding. Race number five over a distance of seven furlongs. Post time will be approximately seven minutes. Post time approximately seven minutes. And it looks like we have a good crowd gathered for the candy scramble. Number three is on the way. The four horse moving up. Last to load will be the five horse. There at the post. They're off. Race number five over a distance of seven furlongs. Down that back stretch. On the outside, it's reddish. Reddish with an early lead. Now moving up through the middle is Bourbon Bandit. Bourbon Bandit, Reddish, and Cat's Touch all in front. Sims is the trailer. Bourbon Bandit, as they hit the turn, is the leader. In second spot on the outside is Reddish. Third, we have Cat's Touch. In fourth spot, it's Sims. Out of the turn and in front of the grandstand. Bourbon Bandit is the leader. Reddish is in second spot. Then we have Cat's Touch and Sims. It's still Bourbon Bandit the leader. Bourbon Bandit as they go into the turn. Reddish is in second spot on the outside. Cat's Touch third along the rail. Sims is in fourth spot. Around the turn on the rail. It's still Bourbon Bandit the leader being challenged by Reddish. Bourbon Bandit and Reddish as they come out onto that backstretch on the rail. It's Bourbon Bandit the leader. Reddish is in second spot. Third spot, we've got Cat's Touch, and then it's Sims. It's still Bourbon Bandit the leader. Reddish is second on the outside. Third along the rail is Cat's Touch, but being challenged by Sims. Sims moves into third spot. As they come out of the turn in the race for the finish line, Bourbon Bandit is still the leader on the inside. Reddish is in second spot. Bourbon Bandit and Reddish battling for the lead. Bourbon Bandit and Reddish at the wire. It's going to be Bourbon Bandit, Reddish, Cat's Touch, and Sims. Results unofficial. Please hang on to your paramutual tickets until they've been declared official. Thank you. The official running time, 125.12. The official running time for our fifth race, 125.12. The unofficial order of finish, the winner number three, Bourbon Bandit. Second was number five, Reddish. Third, the number one horse, Cat's Touch. And fourth at the wire, number four, Sims. Unofficial.
Just finished with the photo, the official winner, number three, Bourbon Bandit, owned by Charlie Weaselhead, Darcy C. Weaselhead, Tony Fox, Derek G. Fox, and Terry Lynn Fox, Travis Robinson, the trainer, and the second win of the afternoon for jockey, Jose Orocha. And here are the prices the horse is paid. In race number five, the winner, number three, Bourbon Bandit, paid four fifty to win, two ten to place, two ten to show. Reddish, the number five horse, paid two eighty to place, two ten to show, and Cat's Touch paid two ten. The Exactor paid eight dollars and sixty cents. The Try paid twenty five dollars and thirty cents. Again, Bourbon Bandit paid four fifty, two ten, two ten. Reddish paid two eighty, two ten. Cat's Touch paid 210, the Exactor paying 860, the Tri Actor paying $25.30. Our upcoming and final sixth race is a starter allowance, the first leg sprint. It is our last race of the afternoon, but we would remind you the Rocky Mountain Turf Club is in action weekends right through October 14th. We hope you'll make a point of joining us. Thank you.
horses are now coming on the track for our sixth and final race of the afternoon, a starter allowance first leg sprint. The number one horse, Tis Funny, owned by Carol Brown, Alan Brown the trainer, Blanford Stewart the jockey. Number two is Golden Cowboy, owned and trained by Jacqueline Smith. Juan Apango is doing the riding. Number three, Square Root, owned and trained by Jim DePew, Andre Powell in the irons. Number four is Creekmore, owned by Cranky Acres Stable, Clayton Weist and Rick Weist. Jim DePew is the trainer, Jose Orocha is in the saddle. Number five, Obvious, owned and trained by Lyle Magnuson, Garfield Gordon riding. And number six, Besser, owned and trained by Ellie Rutherford, Juan Jose Apango is the jockey. Race number six, over a distance of five furlongs. Post time will be approximately seven minutes. Post time approximately seven minutes. Horses are now loading. One, two, and four are in the starting gate. Five moving up. Six moving up, waiting on three. They're at the post, they're off. Race number six over a distance of five furlongs. Down in front of the grandstand on the inside, Tis Funny. A bunch as they come through. Tis Funny on the inside, Square Root second on the outside. And then we have Golden Cowboy, Creek Moore, Besser, and trailing is obvious. Into the turn, Tis Funny is the leader. In second spot, Square Root. Tis Funny, the leader, by two lengths over Square Root in third spot. Golden Cowboy, fourth, we have Creekmore. And on the inside, it's obvious. It's Tis Funny down the back stretch by two over Square Root. In third spot, up through the middle, is Golden Cowboy on the rail. It's obvious. Into the turn, Tis Funny is the leader. Square Root is in second spot. Third is obvious. It's still Tis Funny and Square Root battling for this lead. Square Root moves to the front. Square Root is the leader. Tis Funny. At the wire is Square Root. Tis Funny. Obvious. Creek Moore, Golden Cowboy, and Besser. Results unofficial for race number six. Please hang on to your paramutual tickets until they have been declared official. And a reminder, we're back next weekend. Actually, weekends right through October 14th. We hope you'll join us here at the Rocky Mountain Turf Club. The official running time for race number six, 59.05. The official running time, 59.05. The unofficial order of finish, number three, square root first. Second of the wire, number one, tis funny. Third was the number five horse, obvious, and number four, Creekmore, finished fourth. Results unofficial.
Moving into the winner's circle, the unofficial winner of race number six, the number three horse, Square Root, owned and trained by Jim DePew, Andre Powell doing the riding. The unofficial winner, race number six, the number three horse, Square Root. Results have been declared official. The winner, number three, square root, finishing second, number one, tis funny. Third of the wire, the number five horse, obvious, and finishing fourth, the number four horse, Creekmore. And here are the prices the horses paid in race number six. The winner, number three, Square Root, paid seven forty to win, four ten to place, two fifty to show. Number one, Tis Funny, paid eight sixty to place, four thirty to show, and the number five horse, Obvious, paid three dollars even to show. The Exactor paid forty dollars and ninety cents, and the Tri paid one hundred ninety-three dollars and ten cents. Again, square root paid seven forty four ten two fifty. Tis funny paid eight sixty four thirty. Obvious paid three dollars even. The exactor paid forty dollars and ninety cents. The try paid one hundred ninety three dollars and ten cents. We're back racing next weekend. We hope to see you here at the Rocky Mountain Turf Club. Thank you. <laughs>